Hey everyone, it's Lisa Marie Todd and welcome to another episode of An Appetizing Life. I'm here as usual in my Los Angeles home. It's gorgeous out today. We've had really great weather. Um, I'm sorry for my friends in New York because it's been cold, but it's warm here and I'll send you the you know good warm weather your way. Uh, Mike is here too, switching this program for me. Hello. Make everything pretty. And I have some new friend, a new friend, and some old friends. <laughs> Old friends. Old friends. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mary Valerie Broussard. I'm here taking your questions and comments, so chime right in. I'm Anna Blinder. I, I'm the general manager of Wildcraft in Culver City. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Anna's here! Yay. I'm an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> Dana Fitzarmor of Marley B. Jammin. Yes. Yay! Yeah, I love yeah. that. Love your restaurant, by the way. It's like quite tasty. So today I was in kind of a casual mood and I thought, you know, it's time to do some Sunday supper, weeknight supper type things. So that's what today's menu is all about. That easy, quick meal that you can do uh, for your family, for your significant other or whatever's going on in your life or just for you and your cat like me, but that's okay. Um, I'm all good with that. So uh, I'm going to get us started with uh, the sides because everything's going to take about 30 minutes to do and um, to get everything going. So today we're going to start off, if you checked out Instagram, you saw a lovely little picture of my roasted red potatoes with rainbow carrots. And these, oh my gosh, are just so yeah. beautiful to me. You know I love colorful food, so this is like right up my alley. So let me pull up the recipe to show you how to make this lovely dish. You're going to use about a pound of red potatoes um, cut in half and quarters, depending on how big they are. These are on the smaller side, so uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and quarter them just to show you what to do. One bunch of rainbow carrots or regular carrots cut into about a one-inch piece diagonally. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one teaspoon of fresh thyme, one garlic clove minced. See, kosher salt and pepper and a large plastic Ziploc bag that you are not going to eat, but you are going to use for a certain purpose. So I'm going to take the potatoes. I'm just going to scoot this stuff out of the way and just show you really quickly how I'm going to just cut those in four. Easy. You guys can do that, right? Yeah. And that'll, it, you know, my whole thing, I talk about bite size, but that'll make them cook a little bit quicker and your bites will be more pleasant. Uh, some of the red potatoes are larger. I had a bag earlier um, when I was testing the recipe and they were pretty big. So I, it actually turned out to be almost eight, like eight pieces out of one potato because wow. they were that big. Still called baby potatoes, not sure why, but they look grown ass, like grown ass potatoes to me, but what do I know? Grown ass potatoes, those were grown ass potatoes. Yes, I said that, I said it that way. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I don't know. Get your labeling right, you know? Call it what it is. So that's it. Look at that, how fast that went, right? So here's my little tip for the day, Lisa's tip for today. You could put this on the sheet pan, which I have lined with a parchment paper, and drizzle everything on. I want to make sure everything gets coated. So I, my grandmother used to do this. My friends who are chefs do this. Your friend who's a chef does this. I'm going to put all the ingredients in the plastic bag, mix it up, and no muss, no fuss, no mess. Oh, yeah, we like that. So we're going to put in all these lovely carrots. And I, let me show you how I've cut them up. And they're so pretty. Look at the purple. So pretty. Isn't that Is gorgeous? There, I'm not going to front, there is, I'm not remembering it right now, so look it Julianne. up, Google it, it's not Julianne, no, we will be Julianne, I will be Julianning later today, nice. with my salad, with my apples, uh, yes, there is a, a name for this, and I'm forgetting, and, but it's on a diagonal cut, it's, on a, dia it's a diagonal cut, okay. yeah, and I just did it because it's prettier, you mm -hmm. know, you could cut it them is. however you want in big chunks, like a big, you know, like grandma's beef stew, Right. you do you, whatever you want, I just like the way this looks, so, you know, that's just little old me, right? So I'm going to add that in there and make a way for all my little potatoes that I just cut up. Oh, he's hiding. Come out here. 
Yeah. They are so easy. I love them. We're going to add the and olive oil, so two tablespoons of olive oil in there. My minced garlic, I already did. Mm. Get that in there. My thyme, which is all minced and chopped and pretty. Ooh, and then. Brown time or fresh time from your garden? Oh my gosh, don't. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> we got to pump the garden up. Oh, yeah. I'm going to smile. Because everybody don't have that. Everybody, don't, everybody, everybody doesn't have it. I understand. <laughs> And I just had a little moment, like a little, you know, <laughs> seizure moment. Uh, yes, it's fresh thyme from my garden. And yes. yes. I do Good use garden. I do use dry thyme. I don't mean to put that down, but when I'm cooking things like this, fresh is best, you know. So yes. I'm going to um, just eyeball putting in this kosher salt. And again, depending on what your salt intake levels are, what you like, you do what you want to do. Pepper, fresh. Just eyeballing. Yeah. It should be experimental in your kitchen. You should play in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, recipes are great and all, but you get to a certain point, you kind of, it's like relationships. I love when I go this way. <laughs> it, you get to a point that you, <laughs> Mike's laughing. You get to a point that you kind of know what you should and shouldn't be doing and how to do it mm -hmm. and just go with it. Right. I.e. relationships. <laughs> I'm not talking about that, Mary. I'm talking about my potatoes and my carrots. I had to get your recipes right as I smile. So you see what I'm doing? I'm playing with this and it's getting all mixed up. Turn that around. Open up the bag. Wow. Look at that. Throw it away. I'm just going to spread it out a bit and give it room. It's all covered. It's all covered evenly. no extra oil on the bag. Nope, 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 nope. Just like that. I don't know how genius it is, but hey, it is. it's something. And I'm just going to top it one more time just to make sure. And I'm going to put it in my magic oven to the right. I will be right back. Excuse me. And we're going to let that go for 30 minutes. So we are good to go or not. <laughs> the temp is, hold on. Well, you know what? to them because I'm having a moment with my timer. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm back. Is there a different flavor profile to the multicolored carrots versus regular orange? Um, I find like for me, for my palate, I do taste a little bit of a difference. Um, you know, and as you get into baby carrots, because they have the baby, I actually found the baby ones like that, which were really cute, uh, which you could certainly use. But I think some are a little bit sweeter, some I, I don't want to go like towards a turnip, but it's a little, you know, it's a little bit different. A little bit different, yeah. If you, you know, if you are a carrot aficionado, <laughs> like I am. I love carrots. Not really, but anyway. Um, so those are going to go in. at temperature's 400 degrees for 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes, depending on how your oven is calibrated. Because everybody's oven is different, and I think I've said before, you might want to get an oven thermometer to keep in your oven, because every oven is different, just so you get to know uh, what's what? I have two different ovens um, and they both run differently. This one is my workhorse that I usually roast like the meats and the turkeys and all that stuff in and that's my gentle baking, <laughs> you, know, you know, vegetable oven. So um, get your oven thermometer. I'm going to run away to the refrigerator. I'm leaving you guys a lot today, but um, <laughs> here. yeah, you're here. Tell us about your restaurant. We well, I'm back. Hold on. Oh, hold that phone. Oh, oh, no, she, wait, we wait. thought she was away. <laughs> going away. Oh, she oh, got magic. Only, <laughs> only because, only because I want to get this on the stove and oh. in the oven. And then I promise I will go back to you. I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, no, we thought that you were busy. No, I just didn't want it. It's chicken, <laughs> and I didn't. It's chicken, and I didn't want to leave it, you know, um, out. So, so uh, the next thing we're doing, cheap and cheerful. One of my favorite pieces of chicken, a chicken thigh. Can't go wrong with it. So I'm doing a pan roasted chicken thigh today. Um, what I like about this is I can trick myself into think it, thinking it's actually fried chicken because when I get <laughs> done searing it, it's, the skin's going to be nice and crispy. Ooh. And you're going to think, ooh, it's like fried chicken, but it's not. Um. So um, I love doing that pan sear te technique. And we'll throw it in the oven and let it finish up in there. Um, and this is really, really simple. Pull up the recipe for it. So um, I have six skin on bone and chicken thighs. I only have four. I didn't want to crowd out the pan and, you know, right. you know, 
but you certainly six is perfect for what you want to do for dinner uh, salt and pepper to taste two tablespoons of olive oil and I have a fourth cup of Italian parsley now you again do whatever you want you can certainly do this with rosemary you could do it with you know a mixture of different herbs whatever you want to do um, I like the parsley because it starts to crisp up and get a little bit crispy and that it just adds more to the tiny bit more of a crunch and uh, everything else I'm cooking I have so many other herbs it's an it's enough of an herb to give it a little something but not overpower everything else I'm doing right now so we're gonna head over to the stove over here and I've got my grandma cast iron thing there I love yes I do too so we're gonna get that going and I'm gonna just put in my olive oil if you guys have any questions please let me know you guys are so quiet again. <laughs> there's some days, there's somebody, there's, there's some days, I know why, it's because I haven't given the, them their cocktail yet. Is that oh. one of the cocktail? That's when they kind of loosen up and you know, you're yelling at me to get the chicken in the oven. You're so hilarious. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, I'm going to actually jump back over here real quick, Mike, for me. I just want to salt and salt pretty liberally with this and pepper to taste this and I don't want to get my hands dirty right now mm -hmm. food safety yeah. food safety I'm just gonna flip these the fork and sit that there and this is perfect because the skillet is heating up so by the time I get back over there we should be good uh, this is just olive oil, straight up, yeah. And depending, you know, people like their coconut oil, they like their various different things. I just, you know, you could do canola, grapeseed, whatever. I just like my olive oil. That's it. So I'm going to put these in here. Skin side down. I must repeat, skin side down, because we want to get that crisp up. So... Yes, and I'm doing that for a purpose because I uh, try to avoid sticking. And when I do eventually flip it, I'm going to do that again to move it around. I also want to make sure everything is cooking evenly because, you know, we want it all even. And that one, there we go. Mm -mm, yum, yum. Yum, yum. Eat it up. <laughs> so I'm going to let this cook for about two minutes. Just to start to get that skin a little bit golden brown, I'm gonna then turn the fire down, the heat down. I said the fire. Ooh, the fire. The heat, that's so country. I'm gonna turn the fire down. I don't mean, I, I didn't mean that. If, don't be offended anyone. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean when I said that. You understand. Um, I mean, <laughs> that's my roots. You're gonna turn the heat down um, and we're gonna let it cook for about another seven to 10 minutes. Then I'm gonna pop it in the oven. Um, so. Let's just, just to make sure, I always want to make sure that I don't mess anything up. So the two minute timer's on. I'm going to pop back over here. And while that's going, just for two, two minutes, any questions, any thoughts, any, <laughs> any, anything? <laughs> <laughs> Guys are too quiet. It's like, so you're going to, um, Cook it just to make it brown on one side, then you turn it down and cook it for about 30 minutes? No, no, no. Just I'm put it in the <laughs> oven. Oh, oven. I missed that. No, 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 no. Time out. <laughs> I'm going to cook it for two minutes. That's why I'm Mike's right. laughing. I'm going to cook it for two minutes just to start to get it brown. Okay. Turn the heat down. Let it cook again. Still stove top, skin side down. And let that cook for about another seven to ten minutes. Then I'm going to flip it, put it in the oven. Oh. When I flip it and put it in the oven, that's when I'll put the first round of, um, I'm sorry, parsley on there. And then I'll explain the rest later. So right. that's that. Let me go back over here because the timer says 55 seconds. Today, today's show is kind of like, this is like home cooking, so it's gonna, we're going to kind of go back and forth and slide through this. <laughs> You can hear the sizzle in the in the pot. <laughs> Something you can smell it. It smells really good. Um, 
i did these are if you want to know our organic chickens i love that um i i like when i cook a whole chicken i like to get pastured chickens um you know because basically you're eating what the chicken's eating so i you know with your eggs or with your chicken or whatever um i'm i'm in butter even your butter too um i love pastured pasture stuff it's funny because the pasture chicken is always much smaller than a large chicken like the large chicken's all beefed up and looks like it shouldn't look like that <laughs> all plumped up um so a pasture chicken you'll probably look at there we go and uh go well that's a small chicken that's not yeah, enough yeah, pa what the, the pasture chicken is more expensive all the time yeah so i'm going to turn this down and i'm going to put the timer on for another 10 minutes oh, let's, i'm sorry seven minutes Or whatever kind of chicken pieces I you love want, or you what? Sure, I mean you can pan sear whatever piece of. I wouldn't use wings. The wings yeah. are kind of funky yeah, and yeah, you yeah. kind of you know. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> what was that? Yeah. <laughs> They're a little bit weird. Um, so I certainly wouldn't use wings, but you know uh, I would use. Mm, I'm gonna pause for a second. I would use a boneless chicken breast just because. Oh, yeah, the thigh is is meatier, so that bone doesn't matter as much. But I would probably do something boneless if you want this. I, the skin on is important, and I know people are like, oh, take the skin off. The skin helps keep the meat moist. You can take it off afterwards, but it gets that moisture in there, you know? So I, I would kind of wait for that. Um, I'm going to get, I'm trying to like time this out today. It's an interesting day because I'm doing, I, I, I'm really cooking Sunday dinner here. So, you know, you like it's a Sunday dinner. So just to give you a little tease while that's going, um, what's our cocktail for today, right? Well, I had so many oranges from Miss Mary's tree. Um, I don't want to waste any of it. So uh, again, if you're going, God, she did oranges last week. Why is she doing it again? I don't want to waste them. So I have, and they're in season. They are in season. Thank you, Mike. Mr. Mike said they're in season. So there we go. Um, so I went scrounging around, I should say trolling, I always like, like to say trolling around the internet, trolling the internet, um, trying to find a really cool cocktail. So um, I'm an absolute vodka girl and love this, you know, absolute mandarin. And I thought, how nice to compliment that. So there's a great recipe that I found and we could pull that up. That would be good. And so it's called an absolute mandarin crush and it's from absolutedrinks.com. So it's about one and a half parts of absolute mandarin vodka. Vodka. It's time for vodka. We're going to use about a third part of triple sec, and that's like a splash. You're going to eyeball it. And I did Mary's lovely oranges, yeah. fresh orange juice. And I did some uh, nice little orange slices there. And that's that. And I'm going to pop over here, check the chicken, see what's going on there. Make sure we're all good. Yeah, we're good. Keep that down. Okay? We have that on high Oh, I brought the heat down. Okay. So bring the heat up um, high at first, then bring it down a little bit. It's still kind of high, but not, not crazy high. So I've got four minutes, just enough time to do this cocktail. Here we go. Yay. So I'm uh, going to do that. It's, this is simple. It's one and a half parts of the vodka. The vodka? Vodka. Vodka. And then very simply, a third, which is kind of like a splash of the triple sec. So it's very orangey. And then another one and a half parts of the fresh orange juice. And there we go. And you know, fresh is best. If you can't get to it, that's okay. But I love any kind of fresh anything. I'm gonna give that a little stir. Little orange wedge, throw that in, bam, that's it. Oh, that's all you do. So cheers, 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 cheers everyone. Cheers, cheers, Woo! Oh my gosh, that's really so good. It's orangey, and it's good. I'm talking about that chicken. No, that <laughs> is good. This it is, is so good. good. It's so good. So, um, tell me about it. Now, this is a perfect time for you to tell me what you do, where you are. Well, 
I'm not only the GM, but I'm also the bar manager currently at Wildcraft. We're known Ooh. for having, we have 28 beers on tap, but we don't have like Guinness or Stella. It's more unique brands, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, and we do craft cocktails. We have sourdough crust pizza, which is a little wow. different. Um, yeah, yeah. And we make all of our pastas and cheeses in house daily. Yeah. So it's good stuff. You gotta get we, over there. Yes, go. Let's Run. 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 Let's do it. Now, <laughs> that was the perfect segue because they made me turn over the chicken. Yeah, <laughs> turn the chicken over. <laughs> and I'm just going to I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of the parsley. How pretty that is. And. You see how the skin's gotten crisped up? Oh, yeah. And we're going to just tear in the heat off. And up and in. And we're just going to let that cook for another, let's say, 12 minutes, 12, 14 minutes. How's that sound? Sounds good. We'll check it. Yes. I just want to let you know we have people on here and they are commenting. Uh-huh. But I keep getting kicked off. Oh. So I can't read your comments. But we're going to say welcome. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. I'm I'm wandering around because all of a sudden, there we go. My timer just like I don't want to work right now. You will work. You will I'm work for go me. Out on a limb and say, hey Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Kevin. I'm hey, sure Kevin. Kevin is there. <laughs> I'm sure Kevin's there. I'm sure Kevin's so there. So I am going to move on to our little salad. Um. And I think actually before I start plating this, let me go back up. So the salad today is, um, hold that thought because I want to show this to you because it's so cool. Again, I'm into my organic. And so this is, um, these are GMO free, 100% organic butter lettuce. Let me turn that that way. And so what's cool about it is you, it's really still. Wow. That's organic. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like a. It feels like a, I know, right? There's still dirt. It's like a bridesmaid. Yeah, yeah. Don't say. <laughs> no. Don't. That, that's not no. Somebody's gonna do it, right? no. Yeah. You said it. Somebody's gonna do it. Why not? I'm not. I'm saying I'm not doing oh, it, not but you. you know. All you gotta do is stick some little pins in it, and we can make it work. <laughs> make it work. Budget. We can make it work. So anyway, I I took that and I just lightly tear tear. Tore, hello, tore these, take two, lightly tore these into little bite-sized pieces. So that's going to be our salad. I'm going to plate it separately for you guys um, and not going to mix it. Um, but we're going to make the salad dressing. Let me pull up the recipe for that. Yes, I'm making another dressing. Yes, Lisa's salad dressing. Lisa's dressing. So um, this is really simple. It's a sherry vinaigrette type dressing. So sherry vinegar, two tablespoons of that, one tablespoon of... Dijon mustard, a half cup of olive oil, uh, kosher salt and pepper to taste. And that, my friends, is all you have to do. That's it. I am doing this again in my handy dandy little mason jar because you can make this, have some leftover, have some salad for the next few days. All you got to do is tear everything up, right? Tear it up. Tear it up. Tear it up. Tear it up. So, couldn't be simpler. I'm going to put my shallots shallot. you know i love shallots oh my gosh they're so good and the vinegar sherry vinegar if you're wondering what brand i like to use it would be this which i'm almost out of it um i just vinegars all have different flavors it's kind of like a wine mm -hmm. you know and so i'm really particular about my vinegars specifically my balsamics but even the sherry because if the vinegar is off the whole dressing is wrong. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. Dijon mustard. I love that. That, <laughs> that helps to keep it, um, it binds, it keeps the emulsification. I hope I said that correctly. It sounded like mush mouth, but that's okay. Um, keeps that together, and so it makes it a little bit creamier. And, you know, I like my creamy, creamy dressing. Um, again, this is salt to taste and I'm going to taste this afterwards. I would say if you wanted a measurement, I would say a teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of pepper. My half teaspoon of pepper is for whatever reason, three and a half little, I don't know where I got that from. I think I measured it out once and that's what it came to. And then your half cup of olive oil and um, extra virgin. I don't know if I put that in the recipe or not. 
And then what time is it? It's time to shake, shake, shake. Yes, shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your dress. Shake your dressing. Shake your dressing. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> see, the drinks are kicking in now. Do you see they're loosening up? I feel good. I know what I'm really doing. Good though, pacing you are. You guys are pacing yourself. I'm like, this is That's this why is we good. Be quiet. So I am over here tasting. <laughs> tasting. It's good. Not bad, just for a, a an extra salt. pinch for luck. Everything needs salt. <laughs> she said as you're doing it, she's like, need salt, need salt. An extra pinch of salt, and you can always add more salt to it. I don't. It's better to undersalt than oversalt, because right. once you oversalt, you're screwed. Yeah. Ain't not a thing you can do about it, you know. I'm gonna stop for a second, check on the chicken. Just kind of look in there. Oh, it's doing beautifully. I wish. I wish I had a camera for that. It's still sizzling. But I don't. It's still sizzling in the oven. Julio, check the chicken. (laughs) (laughs) Mary is Mary's making that reference because we were at Bruno Mars in Vegas this weekend, and um, it was. (laughs) We had a lot of fun. It was amazing. He's the ultimate performer. I love him. Um, I had a little moment with our tickets. Then that was nice, right? You've seen me mad. Well, that's got to be off camera. I want to stay oh, like, man. you know, I want to uh, stay. <laughs> I want to stay in everybody's good graces here. Anyway, so I this uh, salad's going to have little matchsticks. I'm calling them. Um, Julianne, if you want, but so I'm going to take the apple and mm-hmm. cut there. We want. <laughs> we want. We want. This apple is not even. My goodness, you're going to give me trouble. <laughs> How dare you not be perfect? <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? Going to be on my show and not be perfect? <laughs> what the heck? So anyway, I'm going to turn these all over, and then I'm just going to make thin slices like that, pretty even. So we got that, and then I'm going to stack these, and I'm just going to go in, because I want them a little bit thick, mm-hmm. so they're not like matchstick, matchstick, but then you've got... Oh, they look like french fries from They there. do! Oh. And you could actually, I actually saw somebody had actually fried apple. I don't know what that would taste like, um, but... That sounds good. Anything fried. Anything fried sounds good. So let's just cut up a few of these, just because that's what we're going to do. And this is a honey, honey crisp apple, which is a little bit sweeter. You can use whatever apple you want. I just want it to have that sweetness, because uh, with the goat cheese and with the sherry vinaigrette, um, it's nice to have that little balance of sweet. So it could be apple, it could be cranberry, dried cranberries, anything like that, you know, just to give it a little bit of, uh, of something, something. Let me do these two. And that's all we need now. I love fruit and salad now. When I was little, you told oh, me that no. you wanted to put an apple in with my lettuce <laughs> or a pear. No, I look like at you sideways. <laughs> and you know, it's so funny but because. Now it's like, yeah. Oh my it's God, good. what were we thinking? This is so awesome. It's refreshing. It's so oh, there are nuts it's, in there too. <laughs> it is really, really, really right. refreshing. Um, the first time I had strawberries in a salad, I was oh, like, are yeah, you insane? That. But it's delicious. It's actually delicious. So I'm going to plate these for you guys, and you can start okay. nibbling. Nice so day. let me wash my hands real fast. Just want to say hi to everybody who's there. We don't get, we're not getting All right, Yeah, we can't. Yeah, I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll answer anything after the show. After the um, show. We're actually going to try to start doing after show things. Um, oh, no. Which will be fun, because it's the after show. If you heard the conversations that go on, that's a whole other show. That's a whole other show. Oh my gosh, yes. So I'm just putting some salad, salad. Using your tools. Using my tools. What are your favorite tools? What are your best tools? Your hands. Yes. Your hands. Your hands. Like I said, you know, when you're at home, that's what you do, right? That's what you do. And I already crumbled the goat cheese, so it's yeah, ready to go. I love yeah. goat cheese. And I just want to lightly dress this. You guys but can then put. you know you better bring a bowl. I know I got to bring more dressing. <laughs> I understand. Because Lisa's dressing is 
dressings are ridiculous. <laughs> They're so good. But I'm just light. I know you're gonna want more of this. So I'm gonna lightly dress it, you're and I'm gonna. Be ready. I'm gonna actually leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. I hear. Yeah. I'm getting ready. Oh my god. I hear the clanging of the of everything. Yeah. It's hilarious. Okay, so we're going to add this cheese, which oh my goodness has gotten warm. I apologize, guys. It's warm in my kitchen. I got two ovens going, so you know we're gonna. It should be crumbled all the way, but. I'll bring you, the, you guys can have the cheese. Can you it. can handle it. There, I'll bring the cheese over to you. We're going to take the, um, hello, reaching over. We're going to put some of these toasted. Please toast these, 350 degrees for about, I say until you smell them. When you start to smell them, they're about to burn. That's when you pull oh, them out. Okay. Um, when you toasted enough, you don't put any oil or anything mm -mm. in the pan. Put them right? in, let them come out. I did whole, let them come out and you know cool off, then chop them up. Yeah. Don't do it before. Um, and lit, use your nose. Like this is cooking's all about senses. Mm -hmm. It's very sensory as well as tactile. And so when you start to smell nuts, they're about to turn <laughs> and go. They're about. <laughs> All right. I can't get through one show without we did it, something. Uh -huh. you started it. You I did, did start it. You said anyway, it. I'm gonna put. I did say it. when you start to swell, smell, swell, smell your walnuts. Oh my gosh! I'm just trying to make a salad. <laughs> I'm just really trying to make a salad. Right. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, there are apples on there, and that's it. There it is. Mm, that it's pretty, isn't it? Beautiful. Very pretty. So, Yay. I'm going to put that you. on top of there. Oh, I know you're going to want more dressing, Miss Dana, so I'm yes. just going to bring it over. <laughs> I love it. That looks awesome. It looks so good. Yeah, it's so pretty. Yay! Yay! Thank you. Thank you. I like pretty food. Thank you. You're welcome. Love pretty food. So, let's see, our potatoes, while you guys are tasting that, are six minutes away, which it's is perfect. It's so good. I was waiting for my extra dressing. Oh. <laughs> this, no, this, oh, no, the dressing, you God. might not need, it's so good, mm -hmm. Dana. It's really it's flavorful. so flavorful. So there's really extra, is. I'll put that over there, extra dressing, extra. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. I could put her, her dressing in a. And a, and a glass and in her cocktail. <laughs> you guys keep saying that. Maybe I should make a cocktail out of you my should. out of my things here. You are my shameless promotion of an appetizing life in my coffee cup, <laughs> <laughs> which I should start giving away. I have these, and I have. Let's start having contests. Swag. Start giving away swag, swag. Giving away this. Giving away. What else can we give away? I, I, oh wait. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Yes. Wait, hold on. You guys think I'm kidding about the hot sauce? Look at this. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. I keep this with me. We could give away. Hold on. I got one more thing. I need to start giving away. Hi guys, I'm on camera over here. Walking over here. It's delicious. Oh my gosh, it's so so good. yummy. Mm -hmm. so, so when good. I'm not so when I'm not in the kitchen cooking, oh something's ready. Hold on. I was, about to, I, <laughs> I was about to do a shameless plug. Okay, chicken, I have to go. I'm going to turn the chicken for five more minutes. You can't see what I'm doing. You can only see my rear end. <laughs> and I'm going to turn that over, and I'm going to sprinkle more of the... Oh, good. Uh-huh. Oh, so you do, a, do you do another, like, layer after a certain yeah, time I of the... the side with the mm -hmm. I wish I could show you, but I can't. And that's going to cook for five more minutes. Okay. And then we're going to let it rest for five minutes. And then you guys can chow down. So let's set the timer. Okay. If I learn how to use it again. <laughs> there we go. Um, I was about to do a shameless promotion. Yes, right, right, right. So I'm going to start doing contests. Why not, right? Why not? So you get a coffee mug. Does it come with the lipstick? It comes with the lipstick. <laughs> It's a new, brand new nips, nipstick, lipstick from NARS that comes with that. All it's right. a good lipstick. You'll get this. Woo, Somewhere so in all my madness, I yeah. have an apron that says Appetizing Life. Yeah. And I might, if I'm in a good mood, throw in what I do by the day. By if day. you haven't had gin. Gin? You said gin makes you mean. <laughs> I didn't even say anything about That's gin. Oh. But <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, 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 okay. 
I got I got the segue. Okay. Yeah, we're here. Woo. We're back. We're, we're back. back. Are we back? We're back. We're Hello. Back. We're back. By day, what do I do by day? I, um, I'm a serial remodeler. I love to redecorate houses. Got one going right now. Redecorate, sell, whatever. But by day, I love home fragrances, which makes sense because I love food. And so by day, I have my Marie Todd candle line. Wasn't that a nice little plug? Marie Todd candle yeah, line. Um, close up that. Oh, close up of that. Wait, there we go. Look at that. And it smells fantastic. Oh, and I think, I think we need to start having contests that I give away all of this swag. swag. What do you think, guys? Yeah. Think that's a good idea? Yeah. I like that. Right, seriously. Yeah. Do we get to have some of the swag, too? <laughs> I want some swag. You want some I swag? I want some swag. Well, I love a mug. A mug? Mm. Gosh, you're out. You want so much, so much. Well, you know what? I'm putting this out. Not because I'm about to make uh, a, <laughs> a plate for myself, but the potatoes are ready, guys. Mm. So let's pull those out. And here I come, here I come. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. To me. That was 30 minutes. It's about to go off. You're going to hear the beep. I know. We're like we're moving and grooving here. And I am going to check on the chicken because you know what? It's ready to come out too. Wow. So we're going to take that out and we're going to let that rest. Ooh. Oh my goodness. And I'm just going to give this a flip. Back over. And we're going to let that rest for a bit. And I'm going to bring those over there, actually, so they can sit and rest. And you guys are going to be eating very shortly, if this piece cooperates or not. There we go. So let me bring the chicken over. You can see what's happening there. Look at that. It looks wonderful. Thank you. So cut back over to the girls because I need to find some platters. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. You doing it? So good. You're so good on your timing, how everything comes out. Mm -hmm. I try. Kind of, I try real hard. That's <laughs> the one thing that's really challenging about cooking. One time I had a girlfriend of mine, and I, I, I thought I was going to die watching her cook. I, she would cook like one thing at a time and I'm like, oh my God, we're gonna be like forever. Yeah, we can do this at the same time and this at the same time. I had that nightmare happen um, <laughs> at Thanksgiving once. And oh, no. somebody, they decided they were gonna do a turkey and a, what is it, tofurkey, or tof oh, whatever for whatever it is. Turducken. Turducken, oh, well, thank you, that oh, thing. Turducken, my turducken. She loves that. My favorite. But what? she did everything one at a time. So by the time we got to the turkey, it was nine o'clock at night. Oh no! I was tired and sleepy and not Ooh. not in a good mood. Yes. And I didn't even have without gin. I wasn't not in a good mood. What? <laughs> yeah, who knew? Who knew? Without the gin, I wasn't in a good mood. So I'm going to. You were what they call a hangry. I was. Yeah. Yeah. I was, hungry. No, I was beyond hangry, hangry actually. Yeah. So timing is very. Timing is you don't is. Want your meat to sit for too long. No, you don't. Or? And the thing is, is you. Um, I'm about to show you something I do. I'm just trying to scoot this over. Um, you don't want your meats to sit for too long, although you know, unless they have to rest, oh, yeah. as the chicken has to rest a little bit, because it's still cooking when it comes out of the oven. You know, I'm just gonna lift, maybe, hopefully, and pour. Wow, so simple. Only one got away, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. And there, before I, hello. You guys, this is like home cooked meal. I'm just all over the place today, but you know what? It's all good. Looks good. There are your potatoes. Oh, and look at that. Mm -hmm. wow. Look at you. Yay. Like There's your potatoes. Did we get a shot of that? Did I move away too fast? There we go. Yeah. Beautiful color medley. Yes, you know I'm Thank all about you. the color oh, with everything. Wow. Look at the carrots and, and the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Here. It smells so good. Not offended if you need more salt. <laughs> awesome. There is no offense. Go ahead, Jen, you go first. I'm still finishing my salad. <laughs> and then we're I mean, going to go ahead. <laughs> that was last week. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, gonna, I'm wandering around. Am, am I crazy? There we go. Then I'm just going to plate these. Little things here. 
This is Sunday night dinner. This Sunday is dinner. weeknight <laughs> dinner. This is easy, easy peasy. And I'm just going to, for color's sake, come back in there and do this sprinkle. Just a little bit of sprinkle around. And there, that's that. There is your, your chicken thighs. Cheap and cheerful, pretty. Beautiful. Fool yourself into thinking that they're fried. It's all good. Here, I'll bust the table. All right. They got me busting the table on my own. Oh my God. There you go. Wow. Oh my God. That looks beautiful. beautiful. It's oh like God. perfectly so brown wow. and crispy on I top. Help myself. Help yourself. Do you want a fork or something? Really pretty pretty good. That looks good. No, that we're looks good. So good. Awesome. We're good. I need to get potatoes. I'm going to let candy. them have a little yeah. taste, taste. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> While they're about to taste, Ooh. I'm going to go ahead and come back and say, Whoo, we did another one. Yay! Yay. Um, so, while they're about to taste, I'm going to pull up the social media where you can find me. You can follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, on the Twitter, the Twitter. on YouTube, Pinterest, Ooh. and I would love, you know, if you have, I say this every week, if you have recipe ideas, uh, please email me. I would love to do something live that's one of your recipes because um, that's fun. I like to cook live. I love this. This is like, yeah, First this is fantastic. All, so I'm going to cut back to them because they're eating the chicken and so good. when you got into it, so there's good. so much juice that there's just juice is going out of it. It's so like moist. Juice. And yeah. part of the... <laughs> Part of that is just letting that chicken rest. Just sometimes we gotta let things just rest. Oh my God. But that's all I have for today, folks. You know, it's Sunday dinner. If you make this, let me know. If you make changes, tell me, because I'm always learning. I may learn something from you, which is fantastic. And thank you again for watching, girls. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> it's always fun. Um, have, like I always say, have a fantastic rest of the week. And go play in your kitchen. Like, go find some new ingredients and just try something. Why not? You know, that's what it's for, to have some fun. Cooking should be fun. It shouldn't be a labor. It should be fun. Gather your friends and have some fun. Anyway, have a good rest of the week and a fantastic weekend. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>